We're here at the Colorado Springs Flea Market in search of Bill Baker, the owner of Dark Side Creations and the father and creator of the legendary Zombie Gnomes. Let's go see if we can find him. So I wanted to ask you, how did you start making zombies? They start out as zombies? No, they are based off of a gnome armature. I kind of ran from there. The idea was given to me, uh, or at least the concept was presented to me by my oldest son. From, really? from there, I just kind of branched. I've, I've made Halloween props for years. This is just a, a new branch. <laughs> you know what else we need is your name? Yeah, Bill Big. T H A T. <laughs> How do you spell your last name? <laughs> last name is B A K E R. There you go. You're like important. So you got it. You got it. Oh, yeah. Okay. So your son, so you started with the with the basic gnome mold. Yeah. And your son. Well, he pointed me in the whole zombie gnome thing, um, without naming other artists' names. At any rate, I saw their product, felt that I could, oh, I don't like to say improve upon it, but create my own version, so to speak. There you go. And so, when did you sell your first one? I got one. Three days after I made my first one. Really? And it's a friend, family, or? eBay. On eBay, really? Yep. That's where the sales point is. Awesome. So it wasn't just a family member who said, hey, I can do that. No, actually, it was a, let's see what happened. I uh, put it out there within three days. It was already gone. Did two more within a week. It was gone. Uh, as far as eBay itself went, and still continue to put our kind of branch away from eBay. Uh, at any rate, the eBay sale continues to not as fast as I was looking up. Really? To less than a year? Yeah, well, I'm a babe in the woods. And do you do it full time? Do you have I a, am another a job? stay at home dad. I watch my children. That's my primary job. Other than that, see, it's a hobby that has grown into, well, due to the fact of the popularity. It's, I wouldn't consider it a full time job, but it is a job. So, do your kids do. Do your kids help in other ways besides saying, Dad? No. <laughs> they don't help paint? Or? My, my son is branching into assisting with the base painting on it. Uh, and I will more than happily nurture any type of artistic talent that he does have that he feels that he wants. So do. If he doesn't, so do. So they're not like pulling on your sleeve saying, I want to be that. Oh, no. no. My, my five year old. Who stays in home with her and the other It's cool. They have fine painting. She sits there and paints. I tell her to tell her. She likes to paint. Well, as far as right here, we're not. right? Yes. That, that actually started as a lark. Uh, somebody suggested it. I began to work on the Facebook portion of the page. People love gnomes. They're quirky. I people think love a, zombies. Yeah. So it's a it's a natural. It's it's a com, it's a combination, and as, as I like to put it, uh, using primarily eBay as, a, as an example. If you search the word no on eBay, you will probably find twenty thousand. If you search zombie gnomes on eBay, you will find very few. If you search the word zombie eBay. The approximate hit number that I last saw was roughly 780,000 hits for the word zombie. Would you like zombies? Hence, zombie numbers are not going The question was, what's the difference between mine and the ones out there? Uh, through my research, I would have to say, I mean, about the only thing that I would really speak to uh, is material. Because uh, as an artist, I would never second guess nor 
freaked out when somebody else's work. It's not my place. As far as material, yeah, you know, some use concrete, some use gypsum cement, which is primarily a plaster. Here, put it is a little more fortified than general plaster, but it is still a plant. I prefer to use concrete, I prefer to use high end resin. That's where I base my stuff about it, it's my attention. My personal opinion is, I won't have it in my house. By God, you're not going to have it in yours. Period. Nothing will ever leave my hands that I have. I like that all the little bubbles and whatever thing I have there. Mm -hmm. to, to each one make them totally individual. The little bubbles that come from the bottom. Right, yeah. right. They're part of this, they're part of their personality. Oh yeah, I completely agree with you. And, and a lot of people consider, well, they don't consider it, uh, within the concrete realm, it's considered almost, uh, well, they call it fish eyes or an air bubble, and it's inevitable if you are going to get them. They can be filled. Yeah. Oh, there's, there's, concrete is an excellent material. People sell it short all the time. Uh, the ones that are casting concrete with a close-up photo or in person, it's purely evidentiary. You can pull detail from concrete with the proper casting material. Do you have your own website? Not as of yet. It's, I would say, for lack of a better phrase, my way of keeping a leash on the horse right now, keeping my range pulled in. Um, not that I keep up with the production if I needed to, but I am a one-man show. It takes me anywhere from four to six to eight hours to paint the detail on these guys. No corners are cut. I will not speed production and sacrifice quality, it just will not happen. You do them individually, one at a time? Pretty or do, much. Or do you do it like, uh, what is it, like two halves? Well, it really depends on the day, the kind of mood I'm feeling and what kind of mood they're in. Uh, there are days I will sit down with several of them that are ready to paint, and I will paint the base paint. I'll paint four, five, or six of them in a day with the base paint. And then, Day later, I'll be with you. If somebody comes to me with a custom request, all these little guys, they get, they get moved back to the back. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Oh, it is not a problem. Yeah, she's got this.